What's up, y'all? Back with another video. I know it's the next day, but hell, I'm bored. So, one guy said that he wanted me to talk about football, and it was South Paul 13. I guess I'm not very good with memory. When I was first, let's go back to the very first, very first first time I played football when I didn't even have a shirt. And I was playing at Malview. In Malview they called me Magic Mike for some mild reason. The coach put it on my lock and I was like, okay, I don't guess. But when I was playing for Malview when I was on the team, we didn't lose a single game and I was in eighth grade. It was a pretty fun time. It's just I got pulled off because of my grades and all that junk. <laughs> the weirdest thing is also two games without me on there. But it was fun. Then I moved up to, or moved out to Mount Home. <laughs> yes, I, I already have a dip and I don't, don't feel like putting a freaking filler in. Cause I don't want to be buzzed off my butt to the point where I throw up. But, yeah, moved out to Mount Home because it's where I went to church. All that good stuff and had a little bit of friends. I moved around there. So, moved um, to Mount Home. Now I started playing football for Mount Home. No, no offense to the people who have watched my videos that are from Mount Home, but the freaking football team sucks. <laughs> it's not the players; it's really the coaches, because they don't know what plays to call or anything else. I think in ninth grade, we only won two freaking games. And think first semester wasn't really even first. I didn't even stay in football through first semester. It's most likely like summer camp and then a little bit in school, and then I quit in tenth grade. And I could tell you the reason why later on. God, and yes, I'm back on that juicy goodness of mint stokers. Good is best dip that I like now and plus it's cheap you don't get that very often cheap dip that tastes good that's what I like about it but it's not the subject of this video but in ninth grade I was I was down in I was going down a bad path and I regret everything I did when I was in ninth grade because I was basically a lone wolf, didn't have any friends, except for this one girl that I was, that I dated and when I first moved up to Mount Home. But in that grade, like, not even halfway through the first semester, she broke up with me because she got, man, I feel stupid for this. She caught me cheating, and I wish I hadn't done that. Because some days I'm chill, I'm still like I'm, like, kind of have feelings, but I get over room because I got work to do, and all that junk. But yeah, when I was in ninth grade playing football, I was trying my hardest. Didn't really do anything bad during the season. When it came to the second semester, I was smoking. That's actually how I got started on this crap. To extent, an extent technically, whatever. I had my first dip in ninth grade. Now I'll tell that in this video too. But, 
ninth grade, we had we had this one coach. He was amazing. He was a very good coach. Forgot his name. Yeah. But he knew we practiced our butts off, had a little fun. And every time we went to a away game, we had pizza. One time we went to we went to Wendy's and all that junk. It was good. It like it was fun playing football in ninth grade. I see the way that the school system works in Mount Home, like as far as I know, it's eighth grade and ninth grade are together in one building. And then a little, and then like in a walking distance, it's a high school with the uh, tenth through twelfth. All that junk. But every time we practice, you gotta, you gotta know this. Like I was in ninth grade playing football. I was also in ROTC, and MJ ROTC, Navy Junior. And that was fun. I did perfectly in my PT, all that junk, but it was kind of hard for me because not great. I was busy trying to get my grades up. And they were doing ROTC and football all together. But it was fun. That was basically my two electives. But when I was playing football, like I said, I was working my butt off, all that other stuff, trying to be good. And I was, when I was playing football, I was wide receiver for the offense, not first string. That was like close to the last player that they would use, which I don't know why they did that. But for defense, I was either corner or safety. It was up to them. During the game, I was always playing corner. I never played safety. But yeah, during the game, I always played corner. I didn't play wide receiver, and I did not play safety. But I practiced for safety and wide receiver because it's basically the same thing and all that junk. trying to remember else oh yeah ninth grade is actually when I got the name gray wolf towards the end of the season because I always wore this shirt like to every single game I would wear this shirt and I thought that and like the first game I wore this to we actually won the game so I was like okay this is my good luck shirt and the next game we lost I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep on wearing it. And I did. I wore it every single game, far away or home. It was fun. But now on the, like, this is kind of combining with ninth and 10th grade. I got bullied. And the reason I joined football is because I thought, hey, I'm not going to get bullied because I'm one of the players. One of the big shots in school. No, that's not how it works in school. School is like a food chain. If you're, in the, if you're in the new kid, you're going to get bullied and picked on and everything like that, and it sucks. So now moving on to 10th grade, at like summer football camp, that's when I started smoking cigarettes heavily, like to the point where I started throwing up, and that's why I switched to this because the healthier alternative all that junk but after 10th after summer football camp when school started and you gotta remember you gotta know this when it was summer football camp didn't really have anybody to drive me there except for this one guy that I played football with 
most of the time I just walked, walked from my house all the way to the football field, which is very far. I walked there, walked back every single day, nonstop. Except when the guy was able to drive me. But now, during school, in tenth grade playing football, I quit because I got sick and tired of being bullied by the football team. So I quit. And I was paying the ass because it made it even worse. And I started acting out. Starting again, wrong crowd, doing a bunch of dumb crap. And then, I got sent, during 10th grade, I got sent to the hospital three times. And those were the worst times of my life, and I really don't feel like talking about it, talk, talking about them and what happened on here. But, yeah, I quit. I did Spanish class, didn't learn shit. And that was basically the end of my football in school. No, I knew it. I wasn't going to go to college to play freaking football. Like, I could run fast, but my tackling was shit. Like, I didn't care how big you were or anything or how anything. I, I wasn't afraid to like go up against you. Like in now back to Mountain View when I was I think it was yeah, it was during the football season. And when I came up to I was playing nose man, which is the person who goes against the person who snaps the ball on offense. Nose man's the defense person. I went up against that guy. He just he just picked me up, but I didn't care. I kept on going, kept on chilling, try to improve on that. It was fun, but now back to Mountain Home in tenth grade. I quit, and I got a bad crowd, all that junk. That was basically in my football career. Now, but the kind of, I guess you can call it a disability that I got from playing football was my lower back. I did not get injured on the field, but I got injured from lifting weights, which is the stupidest shit ever. I was doing squats wrong. Having 180 pounds, which I only weigh about 125 on my back doing squats, and I was doing it wrong. And that's what messed up my lower back. So now I can't bend over like a long period of time without my back hurting bad. And it sucks, but I keep on working, keep on doing my damn best. But now here's the story of how I started dipping. Because this is like a, kind of, a two and one, kind of. How I start dipping. That one. Kind of hard. I was walking home with one of the people that I was in the back crowd with. The kid was a nice guy. The family, not kind of nice. They were, they were in a bunch of messed up crap. And he had me a can of dip. And he said, hey, you can have this. I don't want it no more. Put my lip, it started burning like hell. So I got to his house. 
or whatever, or the, where he lived. I'm not going to put that location out there because first thing, I don't freaking remember. Second thing, I'm not going to call his family out or anybody like that. That's not the type of person I am anymore. I used to be like that. And not, I don't do it anymore because I have respect for other people and what they what they're doing to an extent. And, but, yeah, I got to his house, took it out, because I didn't like the flavor, first thing. Second thing, it burned like hell, and that's the first time I started, first time I had a dip. Now, the first time that I started dipping regularly, I went to a gas station in the middle of the night, cold as hell, walked my happy ass over there. And I was 15. And I went to the gas station. Got a, I still remember what the can was. It was this gold classic long cut. Bought it. Paid for it. Walked out. Got home. Put one in. Buzzing my ass off. But I kind of liked it. I liked the buzz. And it didn't burn that much. I was like... I can continue doing this because I was already addicted to nicotine. It was bad. Like when I was smoking, I I didn't care if I was throwing up or not. I still smoked a cigarette. Like once I got, it was to the point where I was like, when I got done with another one, I went straight to the next one. That's how bad it was. So I switched to dipping and now I got a rhythm going where I'm not overdoing it but yeah that was my first time actually dipping and continuing and now I dip instead of Instead of smoking because it's a lot better for my health than all that junk. I can help people out a lot more. And it won't mess my lungs. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, my, when I was playing football and the first time I, two of the first times I started dipping. I'm gonna... Give you got tell you guys something that you guys need to know. If you're smoking, switch to dip is a lot healthier and more convenient because you can dip into in places where it says don't smoke and people don't like get mad at you if you dip that often smoking is like uh, smoke is coming out of your mouth and sometimes in the people's faces and people don't like that so that's another reason why I actually start dipping because I was able to dip in places where I went where if I was smoking I couldn't but yeah if you're going to ever try to start it which I don't like encourage anybody to start tobacco products or nicotine products or anything like that. If you're going, if you're going to start your your own person, you're going to do whatever the hell you want to. You ain't going to listen to me. I'm and I'm still a freaking boy, current kind of. But yeah, if you're ever going to start tobacco shit, I start with dipping. Don't smoke bad for your health and everything like that. Dipping is kind of bad for your health, but it's healthier in it to an extent. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. If you like my videos, and if you're new, press that subscribe button, press that bell notification button, and click all on there. And press that like button if you're old or new and leave a comment down there I really enjoy reading them
and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. And raise hell.